What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for watching this video. As you can see from the title, this is a review on the software Dehancer. I got reached out to by the team at Dehancer and he asked me to do a review. So uh, this is an unbiased review. They asked me to give the, my honest opinion because it helps them for feedback what they said. So I will honestly give my critique, my thoughts on it, and you guys can take that as you will. To put it simply, what Dehancer is, is a film simulation tool. It basically uh, will take the qualities of different film stock out there and tr basically make your video look like it was shot on that particular film stock. The thing I will point out to you when thinking about using a program like a Dehancer is don't treat it like it's slapping a LUD on or how you would be slapping on a filter or something like that. It's even different than if you've ever like used uh, different if you've ever downloaded film grain packs where it's like overlays it's not like that either because those are just like you're just slapping it on top of your video and you're trying to like you know use compositing to blend it to you know kind of make it work with your footage it's different than that you really do have to think like you're shooting on film so the first part of this review i would say is this is definitely for people who are really wanting to dig in and create a look so you really should go into it with a plan just like I say anything on this channel, like I say plan before you shoot, uh, consider story. It's the same kind of thing. Don't just think that I'm gonna slap this on and magically my uh, footage is gonna look like it was shot for like a movie or it looks cinematic. A lot of times we get stuck on that, getting the film look. And we think, oh, you know, if a movie shot on film, it makes it look cinematic, which there's qualities to that because you know, our brains have been wired for over a century of watching movies that were shot on film. But that's only part of it. Just like if you sh shoot a, 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 a video and slap the <laughs> black bars on top of it, but that doesn't automatically mean cinematic. So all those things are just tools. The thing I will say about the answer is I think it is a good tool. But if you're a person who is just wanting something quick just to slap on, I don't know that this would be for you. I think this is honestly for people who are wanting to go deeper into color grading and um, want to achieve a look. Let's say you are on a tight budget and you aren't able to have access to film cameras or you just don't know how to shoot on a film camera, but you are thinking from that standpoint, um, this tool I think you can use because you can really dig in, do some research, uh, find out what film stock you want to use and really shoot your stuff to make it look like that so if you utilize this tool the right way you can achieve some good things i'm making this sound you can't just choose something in post later you can't because i'm playing footage right now that i did this on an old project i had shot a while back and i just like okay let's just try to get a film look out of it but you got to understand what you're doing you have different types of film you have 16 millimeter film to choose from 35 millimeter there's different looks each one of those film types has a, has a different quality a different grain to it and there's certain things that film gives that we're trying to achieve like we'll throw uh, filters on our lenses we'll do stuff in post we'll, to try to achieve a, a quality that film has and it's just a characteristic that you get from the chemical reaction that happens when you're exposing on film it's so almost foreign to us as people who shoot on mirrorless cameras and dslrs and other digital cinema cameras today we don't have to consider film stock anymore it's a different way of thinking so i would almost look at this program don't look at it as an afterthought look at it as a before thought adding this into an application um like davinci resolve i can't tell you what it's like using it on any other program because i use it on davinci resolve so i don't really know what it's like using it for other programs davinci resolve in itself is pretty powerful and has a lot of things you can do davinci resolve in the paid version does have different film stock and you can do some things i don't know how detailed it is i haven't used the uh, paid version of DaVinci Resolve, so I don't know. That being said, since I don't have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, because I haven't really needed it for, for what I've been doing thus far, I would say this has been perfect for me because I don't have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. So if you want, if you're looking into like wanting to really dig in to different film stock, I would say go for it and go ahead and give this program a try. If you're a person who wants to just kind of grab something quick, throw it on top of your video after you're done and send it out to your client or whatever i would probably say this probably isn't the program for you given the price point because it's a big investment if you aren't going to really be using it 
So I would say if you're someone like me who has some understanding of the language of film, this program could be cool for you because it could be a way for you to start to achieve the things that you've been wanting to do that you haven't really been able to do before. The thing I would say like the, the best way to use this program in my opinion is to when you're shooting your 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 film or whatever you're going for a certain look decide what film stock you want to shoot on before you start shooting so that can kind of help you really lock in and let's say you aren't maybe you didn't shoot it but you know uh you're editing or you're just do, doing the, the the color grading on the on the program look at whatever the reference was if there was a film like so for instance let's just say you picked a film and you know it was shot on film Go look it up on IMDb or go just go Google search what film stock was the shot on. And you can see, it'll tell you uh, online, if you look it up, it'll tell you it was shot on Kodak 20, whatever, whatever. It'll show you the film stock. It'll show you if it was 35 mil, uh, Super 35, 16, whatever it was. And you can really see, okay, this is what it was shot on. So now when you're going into on the enhancer, going into the plugin, into the features, you can choose the film stock. It also gives you the option to add in things like halation. So these are things that like you see from film that you're trying to achieve. You look up videos on YouTube and you'll see halation pop up a lot, how to uh, achieve that look. The thing that's also cool is that you can tell it what camera you're shooting in. I shot on the Fujifilm X-C3, so it's F-Log 1, but this is F-Log. So I selected that and it basically gave it a nice balanced look. The thing that I would really like to see that I didn't see, that was a little bit disappointing for me. I would really like to see some type of like intensity slider on every panel. Like a, like I know you can adjust things and stuff like that, but like when you when you drop the film grain on, it, I think it'd be cool to be able to bring the intensity down. I have a feeling that pro pro colorists might kind of feel like they don't need it, but again, I don't know. I'm not a pro pro colorist. <laughs> I am a enthusiast when it comes to color grading, but I'm a professional editor. So for me, it helps. It definitely helps. If what I've said to you said, you know what? Yeah, this is a program for me. I want to go ahead and get it. I do have a discount code for you. Just use the code IBZ10 to get 10% uh, off. And if you do decide to get it, uh, let me know. Go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me how you're liking it. And tell me if this video was helpful to you in making your decision. They also have a mobile app for iOS devices that they want me to tell you guys about. So uh, check that out. I really just wish I could make my videos look better. Are you tired of your videos not looking awesome? What the? Well, I have just the thing for you. Who is talking right now? The Enhancer app for iOS. The app is great for editing photos and video. And if you're editing video, you have access to features like tape weed and film read. And you can use it on your iPhone and iPad. Where did this even come from? Oh, and the answer isn't just an ordinary app with filters. There is years of scientific research behind this technology. Consider this app your on the go film look creator. Because the color and tools you get in the app are similar to the one in our renowned desktop plugin. Now that's awesome. Me? No, not you. The app. It is awesome though. Get that film look by downloading the Enhancer app for iOS. But that's it for this video, guys. If you found this helpful at all, if it helped you make your decision one way or the other, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, peace. I, I, I hear the voice, but I don't know where it's coming from. I, I just don't know. Where is this voice coming from? Oh my.